In this video we will cover following topics on BMAT 2000. This is our PMAT 2000 portable maintenance access terminal which we use for uploading of any software or downloading any data from our aircraft. Uh, this type of uh, PDL is normally used in almost all type of uh, aircraft, all models, even Airbus as well as Boeing. Check out this video for practical use of PMAT 2000 for software uploading. So this is our main uh, PMAT 2000. It comes with a harness which has to be connected to the aircraft. So here we have this will be going to the aircraft side running 615 and 615 alpha. And this will be going to the P, uh, PMAT 2000 to this PDL. And it comes with a charger. It have got internal two battery power pack with external charger. It is compatible only with 50 to 60 hertz uh, frequency. So the aircraft 400 hertz frequency we cannot use it for charging this. So this is our keypad. This is our on off switch and this is our mouse. This is not a touch screen. So this is, we have a cursor over here. Left key, right key and the scroll switches. On top you can see over here. This is ethernet cable connection. This is the USB port for putting the external pen drive. This is our receptacle for putting our harness. This one. And when you open this flap, you will find this two battery over here, power pack. This has got PC card, which we can install it for uploading, which we are having software in that. This two connection is optional, which is for AFDX, this airlines full duplex switch network. Okay. And this one is DC in. So we'll be connecting our external power from your DC in. Okay. For switching it on, we will press and hold this on off switch until we get the power light and then we can see the welcome screen. This is our main screen for PMAT 2000. So first we will be checking the battery status whether our battery is fully charged or whether it is charging. So we will click on this. Here you can see there is two battery, battery 1 status charging, battery 2 status charging almost full 92. Okay, so here you can check the brightness also and then power option. Okay, and then you can save it and close. Back to the main screen. So this is the load star, the software which will be controlling the software to upload and uh, this is PDL615. Normally, all the software will be for the Arink uh, 429 software will be in this. This is Arink uh, 615 Alpha, which is the software which is Ethernet enabled, which can be loaded with through Ethernet. Okay, so it will be over here. Security, user guide, archive data. In this, we will be having all the downloads from whatever LRU you are downloading the data, it will be saved over here. And this for remote panel battery status configuration for setting and then shut down so first we'll go in this load star we'll see what are options are there in this okay so here you can see on your right side this is different tabs and in each tab we'll have different option so right now we are in library in library it will say us ask us if you want to install any software uh, this will be the li library management what all software is loaded already in this payment it will be shown over here okay locate delete verify backup and storage store so let us see what is this install software so when you want to install any software in this payment we have to go in this option and then here it is asking you from where you want to install the software so normally if you are installing with the pen drive or uh, with the external floppy, floppy drive if the floppy drive is not in, uh, opted in this uh, PMAT, then we'll select removable media and then we'll click on next. Okay, then it will ask you certain options which we have to fulfill and then install the software. You can go back from here. Here is the library management 
in this you will find all the software which is installed right now in this uh, PMAT 2000. So in this first part you can see this is all the part number of the software which is already existing in this PMAT. This is the airplane model for which the software is been loaded. The LRU type and then this is the tail number. Okay. So if we click any software over here it will show us all these different options. We can also change the setting of this. Suppose if I want to make this software available for all my fleet as per the model number I can change it. You just have to tick the box and untick the box whatever is needed. Okay, And then you can change the LRU you can change all this tail number also. So if some software is only particular for the uh, specific aircraft you will untick all other fleet and then you will select only that option and then you have to click here on update okay so once you update it this uh, the PMAT will know and only on that particular aircraft or particular fleet or model that uh, software can be loaded in future so we will not change anything over here we will just go back and then these other options which we can use and these are other tabs which we can use for different options this is the admin okay so this is another useful option from this admin you can organize the database you can also add the tail number the model number of the aircraft and the LRU suppose if you are getting some new software which is which has to be loaded to our new aircraft which is not opted in this PMAT so what you will do is you will go in this administration tail and then here you, you can see the current tail which has been uh, opted for the software's current software. So what I'll do I'll write a tail new tail number over here. And then I'll select the model this tail number model. Okay. And then I'll click on add tail. Do you want to add the tail? Yes. Okay. now this tail has been added it is saying so I'll click on ok and so the tail has been added and then if you, I want to delete some tail I'll delete it from here so we can go back same way we can put a new model for the aircraft these are the models and then you can add another model from here then you have to click on update and same for the LRU so here you can see the this LRU plus regular if you don't have any ID special for 777 aircraft and if you have ID then you have to cl click on the 665 and then you have to put the ID over here then you can add it it will come over here and then you can update and go back. So once everything is done over here you can just log off this software which is Lodestar. You click on close. Then you will come back to the screen. Now for uploading the 615 software we will uh, go in this one. Now here it is asking upload from where PMAT 2000 mass storage. If you have connected uh, another external drive it will show option over here floppy disk or external drive. So right now nothing is connected we will select the mass storage. Now currently 615 software which is in this uh, PMAT is only for 320. If you have another aircraft it will show over here. So I'll select the this 320. I'll select the tail number. I'll select the LRU. Whatever LRU we are uploading and then it will show you which software is been loaded for this LRU. You'll select the part number and then we'll click on select. So this is the screen when you have connected successfully and pushed the CB you will get a file number over here and then the file number will keep on changing and uh, slowly slowly as the uh, software is uploaded uh, will get keep getting the file number and then once it is complete here it will show load complete then we can go back. So for a ring 615 alpha which is ethernet enable same we have to do we have to connect this PMAT to the aircraft and we will go in this option. 
okay so here you it is asking username here it is asking tail number username here it is asking tail number and then here the connection type so whichever lru you are selecting you have to select the name from here okay there are a lot of name lru name so anything you select you have to press here continue and then here it is asking you whether you have to upload it or download it so as per your requirement you can select this now support I select upload it will ask you the target name okay so once it is connected we'll get a target name over here suppose you are downloading any data from the any particular LRU so you will get uh, this uh, the target found and the LRU name then once you get this you have to select click over the uh, click on the LRU and then you have to click on the next so it will start downloading now once the data has been downloaded upload is finished if you want to check whatever things the data has been downloaded we'll go in this archive data and then here it is showing low, uh, logs downloads and this fault files so we'll click on download visit uh, whatever the download is now here it is showing you the file name and the date at which it was downloaded and here it will be the detail of that file so what we can do is we can select here and then we will put a pen drive over here in this PMAT and then we will click on transfer to removable media. So now no removable media has been found once you connect it you will get over here we will click that and we will browse any particular folder or anything and then we will click on transfer download. So here they have given the user manual for using this PMAT 2000. And this is another manual for 615 data loader. And that's most probably PMAT 2000 user manual. We'll go back and then almost everything is done we can switch off shut down click on shut down yes 